So this next chapter, chapter five, we're going to continue with this topic of embryonic and fetal development. And, and we're going to talk about the folding that occurs um, in the embryo. There's two types of folding. Um, one type of folding really forms all the body cavities, um, and the other type of folding sort of creates that very classic embryonic C shape. So the first type of folding, so these two types of folding um, are referred to sometimes as transverse versus um, sagittal folding or lateral versus cephalocaudal folding. And basically, um, these two types of folding are, you know, so if you were to stand with your arms outstretched and then you formed, um, uh, you closed, a, you formed a tube with your arms, right, like a big basketball hoop with your arms. That kind of folding, this lateral folding, um, occurs in the embryo and it forms the, um, the body cavities. So that type of folding is sometimes referred to as transverse folding or lateral folding. And so what that looks like, uh, so up here in A, we have our trilaminar um, embryo, right? which embryonic discs, Tri trilaminar meaning three layers, uh, endoderm, ectoderm, mesoderm, uh, and the embryo is flat, so it looks like a disc. So up here I told you was the amniotic, um, amniotic fluid and the amniotic cavity, uh, and down here we've got the endoderm that's gonna form the GI tract, the mesoderm, um, and the um, ectoderm that's gonna form, among other things, the central nervous system. So if you notice here, as we go from A to B, we notice that the um, neuralation is occurring, right? We're forming the neural groove and the neural fold. But what's also happening, if you notice, that these ends of the embryo here are starting to move down. And then if we go to D, they're actually starting to, to um, pull together, right? And they're pulling together and they're pinching off a portion of endoderm. And they're eventually that portion of endoderm that they're pinching off is going to become the GI tract or the gut. And the space on, the, on either side of it is gonna form the body cavities, the abdominal, pelvic, right, thoracic cavities. These hollow spaces in the body are actually formed because of this lateral folding the embryo. And so over here in E, those, those ends of the embryo are actually now all sealed up. And we have the, the GI tract, the primitive GI tract. We've got the body cavity here, the hollow cavities. We've got the dorsal aorta, right, the primitive aorta in the back. We've got this, uh, if we're at the end of the, the caudal end of the embryo, this would be the primitive spinal cord, right? So you can see that this embryo sort of seals itself off and forms this body cavity um, as a result of this lateral folding. And what, what you don't notice because it's been cut between C and D, it's been cut away, is in the process of doing that, in the process of that lateral folding, it's also wrapped the amniotic cavity around it forming that amniotic sac. Okay. So if we look um, here, we'll sort of see that. So we've got the, the embryonic disc here, right, and the formation of the um, neural plate and the neural groove and the neural tube. And you can see that these ends are starting to move in. They move in and start surrounding this embryo, and they're wrapping the amniotic sac around itself. Okay. Now so you can you notice in the last two um, slides that this process of lateral folding is actually happening simultaneous with simultaneously with the formation of the nervous system so with neuralation. So as neuralation is occurring this lateral folding is also occurring. So if we go to Another little clip, YouTube clip, we can kind of see this folding 
in action. Uh, let's excuse the moving in between. So over here we've got the we got our trilaminar disc. We've got the um, bottom of the embryo here, and then the amniotic at the bottom of the embryo. But this portion of extra extra embryonic tissue um, below the disc, and um, the amniotic cavity above the disc. And it's just this portion at the center that's actually the embryo. So if we watch now, the neurulation is happening. You're forming some some other tissue, and then this this embryo is starting to fold. This lateral folding is occurring, and it's going to seal, right? And it's at this point when it seals that now the center of this is the embryo. What's surrounding it is now the amniotic cavity, amniotic fluid, and it's formed its gut and its body cavity. Okay. And so that is the lateral or transverse folding of the embryo. Now, if we go back here, so what we're what we're left with is actually um, now at the end of this lateral folding, what we're left with is a, an embryo that has an amniotic sac, right? It's got this connecting stalk that's going to eventually form the umbilical cord, right? At the same time, you start to see these this tissue that what used to be trophoblast that's going to start to form the fetal portion of the placenta. Okay. And now you've got an embryo here, little head, a cute little head. Um, and so you've got this embryo here that now has a body cavity. It's got this sealed up. It's no longer a flat disc of cells, right? It's actually starting to look like something. It's surrounded by the amniotic sac. And then at the, at the same time that this lateral folding was happening, you also started to see this, um, what's called sometimes cephalocaudal, right? Cephalo meaning head, caudal meaning tail, or sometimes also called the sagittal folding that is giving this embryo the C shape. So while the lateral folding was happening, the embryo was also starting to curl in and form the C-shape. And you can see um, we've got now at 28 days uh, embryonic age, we have this embryo. It still looks a little lizard-like, but it's um, certainly a far cry from a flat disc. And it's got this very, very clear C-shape. It's got a primitive heart that's already beating and is already can be um, heard on um, very sensitive ultrasound or sonogram, can be seen on an ultrasound. It's got a brain here that's forming, very primitive but forming. It's got those somites that are going to develop into the vertebral column and the, the muscles of the trunk. Okay. So it's really, even though it's all primitive, it really has it, the basic body plan already formed. And this is the payoff to organogenesis. And over here we've got um, an, a, just an amazing picture of this, um, an actual embryo at that same 28-day stage. Okay. Now these, um, the, the next two slides are really um, just sort of a, a reference and to sort of be amazed by, not by any stretch of the imagination do I expect you to, to um, learn all of these, but basically the, the notion that you have these three germ layers, right? So from this inner cell mass, we form these three basic embryonic germ layers, endoderm, mesoderm, and ectoderm. And from these three germ layers forms all of the tissues of the body, right? And, and it's actually quite un, unexpected sometimes to find out what these three layers actually form. So to me, ectoderm, it's surprising to me that all of the nervous system comes from ectoderm, right? This surface layer. 
um, mesoderm uh, forms all of the uh, reproductive system, urogenital system, all the muscles, right, all the, all the skeleton. And the endoderm, of course, forms um, the, the gut, right, all of the gastrointestinal tract. But it also forms really all of the respiratory system right? um, and much of the epithelial portions of things like the thyroid gland, the tonsils, the parathyroid gland. Right? So, um, and this is just a much more elaborate mapping of these uh, primitive cell types starting from the embryonic epiblast, right? Starting from that embryonic epiblast you see the different differentiation steps until you finally get to all of the different parts of the body. And then these next two slides are really just some summaries about um, some major events that are happening at different stages of, of development. And I don't want you to memorize them, but read through them. And, um, it, you know, it's, it's kind of an interesting uh, list of... Um, list of uh, major formation events, right? And some of the highlights, of course, um, it's at about 24 weeks of gestation where you just start to um, form surfactant. Uh, and of course, surfactant is essential for lung function. And it's also really the reason why between 24 to 26 weeks of gestation that a fetus is really described as being viable, right? because this surfactant is essential for extra uterine life. So read through those two slides and sort of get yourself familiar with some of some key highlights in um, fetal development.